back to the channel. My name is Hayden, and today I'm here with a very special unboxing. Now, I got a new keyboard. Now, what makes this thing very special is it's got a lot of RGB. It's literally like RGB on steroids. Now, the reason I'm switching to this keyboard is because my Corsair Strafe is only available in red. The only color you can switch it to is just red. The only difference is you can change it to some different patterns, but it's only red. I wanted something that you could actually have a good rainbow effect in and also look good in red and black, considering my setup is red and black themed. What makes this thing very special is it's actually made of aluminum, so it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's actually got hot swappable switches, which means that you can take out the switches out of it just by yourself without doing any soldering or resoldering, whatever the case is. Now, if you don't know what a switch is, it's kind of like the click, like how you feel the click, like what you are feeling. So some people like to take the switches out. I'm not that kind of person, but you were able to pick out the switch kind when you pre-ordered it. But otherwise, I just went with Kawaii Box White, which are very clicky switches, and that's what I enjoy. Now, this thing does not have a number pad. I really don't need a number pad because I actually just finished my math course for college, so I really don't need a number pad anyways. But otherwise, this thing has insane RGB, and it is awesome. So what I originally did was I pre-ordered this on the MassDrop website, and they said mid-June we can ship it. But then the other day, I got an order update, and it said, oh, we're going to delay till mid-July because of COVID-19. Now, I really, really did not want to wait because I was more than excited for this thing, and I just got home from work, and I cannot wait to unbox it. And I actually found the same one that I was going to pre-order available on eBay. So the guy gave me a great deal. But otherwise, let's get into it. I'm very excited. So opening the box, we got some foam on the top. We got some foam right here counting the, the keyboard. This thing actually is on USB-C, which is also awesome. And we also are greeted with a card that actually comes with what all the colors do and how you can increase the pattern, increase speed, all that kind of stuff so we'll take a look at that here in a second so pulling out one single USB-C cord my Corsair Strafe actually had two USB cables alone for the keyboard now I think one was for the lighting and one was for the actual typing but this one just one single cable makes a life difference especially with cable management so setting that aside we got the mass drop card just a little bit of warranty info on one side and the other side has all the all the listed LED effects that we can do, pattern, increase speed, breathe effect, etc. etc. There's a lot. So otherwise, I'm gonna pull out the keyboard. Now this thing has some weight to it. If I can get it out. Wow, yeah, this thing is awesome. Because I dropped the box. Now under the box, under the keyboard, we get our keycap puller. So a little bit of a tool for that. We actually get a switch puller if we wanted to pull out the switches and two little things that actually prop up your keyboard. Now I'm not really a person to prop it up. I really don't need it propped up, but these are still good to have if I ever change my mind in the future. And the interesting is these actually magnetically attach from underneath. So if I ever really need them, I'll probably just keep them right at my desk because I don't really need an incline. But Otherwise, I'm going to plug this baby in. Now, undoing it, undoing the foam. Voila, this thing is beautiful and I cannot wait. It's actually got like a black and a gray. Wow. I already like that switches. Quiet box white, by the way. Great switches. And I also did a ton of research on this thing before buying it because I am pretty picky when it comes to keyboard than what I'm typing on, especially what it sounds like. So on the back, you'll see some little rubber grips that really prevent it from moving because you really don't want a keyboard to be moving when you're trying to type. And on the back, we got a couple dots because of our magnetic legs, which I believe just go in like this. Yeah, they literally just magnetically go right in. You can either do it... You can do it actually upside down too. If you put, if you, 
You can also put them upside down if you want the keyboard to pop up by the bottom, but I'm not really a person to do that. So I'll be moving those out on the side. Now, you'll at the top, you'll see two USB-C ports. You can really plug the cable into each way, whichever way you prefer, especially on your desk. Now, this helps a lot with cable management. And if you use one end for the power and the other end, you can actually use it as a USB-C pass-through if you want to charge your phone and do some other things. Now, my other one actually had a USB pass-through, which I didn't use that much, but it's still a helpful tool to definitely have. So I'm going to plug this thing in, and we'll take a look at the lighting effect. All right, guys, I have officially plugged this thing, and this thing looks awesome. So this is the default effect. It's just like a rainbow RGB effect. Now, I have the card with me, so we can test it out and see what we can do. So the first thing that sticks out to me is the next LED, so we can see what this thing does. So I guess FN, or function, in D. So that just looks like just a standard rainbow. Or next, we got like a blue-pink got a yellow, We've got a red. I love the red. This thing will primarily be sitting in red. This thing looks awesome. Next, we got like a green, blue, white, like a pink, like scrolling across the white. Ooh, look at that. Nice black and a red fade going across. I guess nothing. And back to rainbow. This thing looks stunning, and it looks very small on my desk compared to what I'm used to. I'm used to a longer keyboard, and this time I'll actually get a lot more mouse space, especially when gaming. That helps out a lot. Now, looks like if we go to LED brightness increase it is function and W. Now, it doesn't look like there's really a huge difference. Now, if we did function S, the brightness goes down. But I see a slight difference, not a huge difference. I like a good full RGB effect, especially brightness wise. So toggle breathe effect is function tab. Oh wow, look at that, that's awesome. Nice breathing rainbow. I guess I'm assuming you can do that for any LED. Now Q and E are function pattern speed increase and decrease. So Q is increase. It looked like it did much there. Oh wow, look at that. You can really get some speed on this thing. So let's slow it down. Yeah, there we go. Very small rainbow. Now there's also media keys on this. I probably won't be very much using the media keys because I can just do that on whatever tab I am on. But otherwise, this thing it looks awesome and I know I'll be very happy. But let's do a quick typing test. This is what Kawaii box switches sound like. Now right off the bat, I noticed that these also have like a grip on them. Now I would love that, especially for gaming. My old keyboard had that, but it was only for the WASD. Now that makes sense because that's primarily what you would use to move in games. So right off the bat, I know I'm going to love this keyboard and I really don't even need to do a review on this thing. This thing is just downright awesome, especially when you get LEDs from the bottom. So I am very glad that I did not wait till mid-July because of the pre-order process. But that's on them, and I canceled that as soon as I could. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Please leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to follow all my social media, is linked down below. And honestly, don't assume there'll be a review on this keyboard because it already has my heart. So I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you for watching.